Hey, this is Flo and in today's video I'm showing you how to clone the mail app so you understand how easy it is to build standard UIs with SwiftUI. So let's get started. First of all I want to create a mail model so we have some dummy data. Okay, let me just create a new file called mail and then in here let's create a struct mail. Let's also make it identifiable so um, we can iterate over it in a for each which you will or in a list, sorry, which you will see in just a second. Okay, so every mail will need to have a sender, which is just a string for now. It will need a time, which we'll also put as a string here, just for this example. In reality, you would probably have this as a date and then convert it to a string, but we'll just have it as a string as it is. Then we also need a subject and a content or message. Let's just call it content for now. Okay, then to have the mail identifiable we also need an ID property. So let's just use a unique ID for this. And then let's also create some dummy mails. So static let preview, that's how I usually call them. Let's just create an array of mail. Oops. And let me just fill this with some dummy mail and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I actually went and just created an array that contains this mail object here 10 times. So I used the array repeating and count initializer, which I think is very handy for such a placeholder here. Okay, now let's actually think about the UI. So of course on the outside, as basically always, we want a navigation view. And then we want a list where we can display all of our mail. But let's actually add the mail first. So let's say private let mail equal mail dot preview. So our array of preview emails. Okay, put it in here. And let's actually call this mails in a plural so we can capture a single mail in our list closure here. All right, now let's resume the preview and think about all of the rows that we want. Okay, so each row should be a navigation link that leads us like this, that leads us to a detail view. Now we're gonna skip the detail view for now since yeah, we don't really need it, but this is where you would link to the detail view and then also pass in the mail Okay, let's expand this to a closure. Now inside each cell, we're gonna have a V stack with a leading alignment. Okay, and inside of the V stack, we're going to first have a row for the title and the date or the time, and then um, put the subject and then the content. So to create a line, basically we're gonna use an H stack. First of all, we will have our mail dot sender which is a string from over here then we're gonna put a spacer in between and then we're gonna have our mail dot time I think that's what it's called yeah exactly okay resume the preview once again next up we're gonna have a text of our mail dot subject and then a text of our mail.content. We're gonna think about the styling in just a second. First of all, we wanna make sure that the list has the correct list style. So since I am working in Xcode 13 and building this project for iOS 15, I can use the list style of .insert and to make sure that that works, I'm just going to put iOS to 15. Okay, then we're also gonna have a navigation title of inbox. And we're also going to add a toolbar here. And this is actually the most complex component. Let's resume the preview. So if you remember in your own mail app, at the top right in the navigation bar, there will be an edit button. And there will also be a toolbar at the bottom to filter only unread mail 
with the last date where it was fetched and then a button to create some new mail. So to do that, we are going to first of all add a toolbar item with the placement of primary action, placement dot primary action, which is toolbar uh, navigation bar trailing basically. And in here, we're just going to put an edit button. All right. And then we're also going to create a toolbar item group for the bottom toolbar. So toolbar item group with placement of dot bottom bar. And in here, we can now put all of the three different things that we want. So first of all, we want an image with the system name of line dot three dot horizontal dot decrease dot circle. Okay, now you can see this is the classical filter image. Of course, you could change this to a button if you actually want to work with the mail app, but for the sake of this video, I'm just going to build the UI so it doesn't really matter if it's an image or a button. Then a spacer. In the middle, we're going to have the text updated just now. Another spacer to push it into the middle. And then another image for our right email button, which is square and pencil. Square dot and dot pencil. And of course, don't forget to add the system name argument label here. Okay, this looks pretty good already, but all of the items in our bottom bar should actually be blue or at least uh, the ones on the side. So let's put this image as a blue foreground color and the other image as well. And then the updated just now. Um, let's make this text a bit smaller. So let's say font of dot footnote. Okay, that already looks pretty spot on. And now there are only a couple of things we still need to do. So style all of this text. Let's get started with that. So the sender should have a font of title 2. Title 2. And a font weight of medium. Then our mail.time should have a font of subheadline. And a foreground color of gray. Okay, now this top row already looks pretty much like it does in the real mail app. Let's think about the subject now. So this one, actually the subject can just stay as it is and we're just going to make the content a bit um, yeah, lighter. So let's use the font weight dot light and let's also make this gray. So a foreground color of gray. And now these cells are already pretty much done. Now there's one more feature that I uh, want to add here and then we are already done with the main UI and that's a search bar at the top. And with iOS 15 and SwiftUI 3, this is actually also really, really easy. We just need to add the searchable modifier in our or to our list. So let's say searchable with text of dollar search string so we also need to create this variable first so let's create a at state var search string and initialize it to be an empty string and now with just this one searchable modifier if we resume and rebuild then we can see that we will have a search bar at the top of the list just like we're used to from the mail app there you can see it you can even tap in there and it will yeah, have this nice little transition there. Okay, that's it. That's how easy it is to use SwiftUI to rebuild these classical iOS UIs. The mail app is a really simple example. In a future video, I will probably also do WhatsApp and maybe some other apps uh, or app UIs. If you have any ideas, just leave them down in the comments. And while you're at it, please hit the subscribe button and like the video. All right, that's it. And I will see you in the next one.